Hey guys, Jeff here, and I wanted to continue my experiment with the dog bane drop spindle. So, in my last video about this, I talked about how I carded up the fibers to get some nice soft yarn. It was a fluffier yarn, but I was interested in trying to do the um, the longer fibers to see if I can get a thinner thread. So I took the strands that I got off of the plant, and you can see that in my last video, which I'll post up there, and I started combing them. Now, a buddy of mine made this comb out of some, uh, I think it was cow bone that he found, and I just started using this and starting at an end and working my way through. You can already see starting to fluff up there. And all of these fibers that come off in the comb, I kept those, set them aside, and I used those in my cards to get some of the other uh, fluffy yarn that I've been making. But after working all the way through this, I ended up with fibers like this. And oh, these have been fantastic to play with. I love how long and soft they are. When I show them to people, they can't believe that this comes from a wild plant to become this soft. Now, these fibers are what I've been using with my homemade Turkish drop spindle. I've noticed I can definitely get a, oh, that came right apart. Um, I can definitely get a thinner yarn, but it's not sticking together well. Um, I did try for a little bit spinning wet. Admittedly, I was trying to spin wet, just kind of licking my fingers and doing it, but the dog vein is very unpleasant. Um, a very bitter flavor to it. Um, and so I tried the bowl of water for a while and I just wasn't seeing it take care of the hairiness, the fuzziness, or holding it together much better. Um, so one of the things I'm wanting to do, I haven't done it yet, but I want to try applying this together. Now, I understand that a single like this might be nice and useful and helpful for those who want to do weaving. As I do more crocheting and knitting and nail bending, as you've probably seen on the channel, um, I don't know how useful a thread or a yarn like this would be. So I started applying it together on itself and it works and it makes a good twine, but it just doesn't tickle my fancy the same way that this fluffy yarn does. I don't know that I'll spend too much more time combing the fibers in order to try to make the the denser yarn. I will finish plying this one up just so I have it in my stash to remind me because I love these long fibers and how soft it gets. But I don't know if I really want to try spinning that again. At any rate, I just wanted to share the progress that I'm making in spinning the, uh, the Indian hemp. Um, Love any comments, any experience that anyone has, and I'll talk to you all later.